Hoodie and I embraced a really improvisational process. We started just with an intention of what we wanted to offer, the kind of space we wanted to create, brought material that resonated with us, found some things on the land, and then just started creating. What we came up with and what felt good and what felt right and, and how we felt entering the space as we were creating it and, and the feeling it gave and what feeling we were trying to achieve. Hoodie and I can get into this place where the work is just flowing. We're just going back and forth, kind of in the space between us, something that is more than what I would create on my own or what he would create on his own. And really beautiful work comes out of that. I think one of my favorite things about creating work at Lightning in a Bottle is the level of artistry that is present at this festival, the level of care that the producers put in curating this experience. I remember the first time going that I was just, my mind was blown. I just didn't know that this kind of a world existed. And just knowing that this was always something that I, I've always wanted to be a part of. For me, personally, as an artist, I think it's important to have art pieces that can connect to people on a deeper level. In creating Earth Chapel, we used a combination of materials that we found on site and those that we brought with us. We were definitely influenced and inspired by the lineage of creating sacred spaces, of creating temples and shrines and altars. There's a sense of using materials that our ancestors might have used to create the sacred spaces that they used. It's kind of beautiful to, to give these pieces of sticks and branches another life. Not with my art, but just in art in general, how it will bring peace and calmness to people. I think it's important to have spaces like this. Spaces that aren't attached to a specific religious tradition, but still offer a spiritual sanctuary really beautiful work comes out of that.